Welcome to my channel, Planet Maserati. I wanted to come on here and do a binder collection part one. There will be a part two because if I didn't, this would be a very long video. This is just binders, like planner binders. That's all this is. This is not the recollections. This is not the happy planners, the this, the mini, the big, the A5 planners. These are just binders. I'll show you what um what I do with them or don't do with them and I'll show you the current one that I'm using. But again, this is just part one. There is I'm gonna do my organization in my room and I'm like, why not film this? So I'm gonna move these to a side. Because again, this is a total mess. Some have stuff in there and some don't, so it'll be a lot easier for the ones that don't have stuff. But the ones that do, I'll kind of do a quick flip. But again, I don't want this video to be like you spending your whole Sunday with me looking at a few binders. A few. Okay, so let's get started. First one here. Well, before I start, sorry for the long intro and sorry for like pushing you right now. But first, I want to say, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, if you could hit that subscribe button, and while you're there, if you could hit the notification bell so you can get notified when new videos come up. And if you're a regular subscriber, thank you for coming back, watching all my craziness. And if you could hit the notification bell as well, so you could get notified when new videos come up. With all that said, let's start. This one here, I got at Office... Depot or Staples? One of the two. Office Max and Office Depot is the same thing. So as you can see, this is a very big binder. Like look at these rings. This is like a two inch ring. I want to say. So let me grab. I don't even know if that's true when you measure from the rings. So I'm just going to try it out. So yeah, it's about basically a two inch ring. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe two and a half. So this is a very big one. I was looking for something bigger than the standard binder rings. But this one is pretty big. And what's weird about it is it's like, well it looks like it's coming off of its the board. But it's weird because it's directly in the middle. So when you go to close it, probably... Not the best way to show it. But when you go to close it, it's very hard to do. So this would annoy me in my purse. And I would carry it around in my purse. And it was super chunky. So let's be go from the beginning. And what I have. So this is either a, like I said, Office Max or Office Depot. Usually they have something stating it. But this one don't seem to have it. Okay. Just check inside. So it's going to be hard to close this. For right now but I'm just gonna show you what it looks like that is the spine it's huge this is in black it's gorgeous I love it but again it, I don't want to keep fussing with this and when you use it that's exactly what you do you fuss with it okay so and then me putting it here don't make a difference because it's still gonna have a hard time closing so on this side it comes with two pockets Three if you want to say the spine, but I don't know how you're getting in there. On this side, I just have list pads, two different sets. One is the Target Dollar Spot, and then this one is just a list pad, probably from there as well. Or Michaels or somewhere. And then I just held it on with a binder clip. Behind it is, oh here, Wilson & Jones. Wilson Jones is the brand. It's the ACCO Echo Brands. Return Center, but I bought it at Staples or Office Depot. That's the only two stores I would have went to get it. Okay, so in here, as you can see the rings, very nice rings, very strong and sturdy. You can hear it close. I used it for like my GTD system. So like anything that I had in my minis, like my, not my mini, my personal size planner, I just threw it in here if it has rings. 
that would actually fit. So that's what this is. All my GTD system. These are just notes, and then I have Filofax. Well, the paper is Filofax, because at one time I did have a Filofax, and then I sold it. Kicking myself every day. So I have a to-do list with deadlines, and I just haven't used it. So then the Filofax has pink and green. These are very old. These come from, like, the little $5 planners that we used to get when we were younger. I still have mine. So that's these sheets, very old. I made this dashboard using the squad goals and some paper, cardstock, and then I just have information on the bottom. Uh, just daily to-dos. These are the recollection sheets. Here's some blank ones. So daily to-dos. This was an actual planner filled though, mind you. Then I made this little, uh, I wanna say dashboard, with a little coffee cup on top, leaf. I do not leave. I don't like when things hang out anymore unless it's like a sturdy dashboard. And so, yes, I made this one. And just use that. This is just a extra piece of plastic. Probably went to here. And then here, I made another one that just says hello. Do it now. And then just a hello. It was something stupid. Here is, um, I have a big pack of this. Um, it's in my mess. I just dropped my candy. So yeah, I have a big, it comes in a big long sheet and they're tab dividers and it already has sticky notes on there. I like them for these two. These are huge, but I like these two. So then it was hole punched this way. So what I did is I took the tab that it came with so if you imagine this being your holes on the side and this being your tab on that side, I just used it for the top and then I just hole punched it over. This is the Target Dollar Spot uh, monthlies. So how they have it, they start the sheet on a Thursday, which doesn't make any sense. They have Saturday, but they don't have the word Sunday, which don't make any sense, but it looks like... And this is, I was using it in November 2018. Didn't use it. Didn't bother to use it. So I may just go ahead and redate it. I wasted all them stickers, but that's how it looks. It's a Monday start and then Sunday end. But the way they have it is ridiculous. The first sheet at least. So then I have my weeklies, which is the same thing. They start their first page on a Thursday. And then it matches up like for the week so then it's monday start and uh the weekend so they don't do saturday and sunday they just do weekend so that's those and it changes every time they make it it changes so here's a health get it done which there's nothing in there it's just notes and again target dollar spot stop wishing start doing i have a planning tab and then this is where I was going to do my planning. See how it starts on a Thursday. And then they have Saturday and Sunday. So each different insert is different. If that makes sense. So it has like this week, your dates. Monday start, Saturday and Sunday is your end. And they split that in half. So these are just storing right now everything for me. This one says let's go. This is my goal section. Again, blank, just target dollar spot, no paper. And it comes in packs, so you'll get dividers. And I'll show it to you on the one that I'm actually using. You'll get dividers, inserts, to-do lists, things like that. Some have stickers. So it depends on which one they make. This one is my favorite. That's what it says, favorites. And then it says make your mark. And I just went ahead and put washi tape down. So if the holes didn't match, I would just re-hole punch it. But I just stuck washi tape down to make it look cute as well. So more no paper. So basically it's just no paper. And it gives me a hard time turning with this one. And then make things happen is the note section. And again, I just put washi down, stickered it. And then I just have like my little post-it notes that's falling apart now. Again, I don't even use this. So that's okay. If it falls, I just 
And then I was doing color coding, which was kind of weird because I don't really color code. Like if it's bill breakdowns to pay off, it will be this. My income is in green. And then I just have like sticky, sticky notes. These I cut down. See, and then they don't last. None of these sticky notes last. This is what I'm going to take out of here. But this is from the Agenda 52. Very pretty. I'm going to move that because I'm about to use it. And then these were just bills. And that was my bill section. And then here you have a pocket. And this is all saying if you have another inside pocket here. But there ain't no way you're going to be able to use that. I don't know why they even did the middle one like that. But yeah, so that's a large pocket in the front and a large pocket in the back. And see, look at how you have to close this. This gets on my nerves. So this is why everything falls out of here. I'm just going to leave this one out. And then just, you have to, this one you have to play with. So I will never use this one again. So let's take this out. Somehow it came out, but that's fine. So yeah, I would never use this one again. I will just store like stickers or something in here, but I probably would be annoyed with it. And you have to play with this in order to get this correctly. And then I messed up the tab here, but that's fine. So that is this one. Put that to a side. The next one I have is my five below. Some are from Target Dollar Box. Some are from, um, like, Office Depot, Walgreens and stuff, Target. So this one is from Five Below, as you can see here. It was $5. It says anything is possible. It's the same brand as the Target Dollar Spot. It's still brand new. Have not used it. It says do it yourself, binder planner. So it's a weekly and monthly, and it says one count. And then it just has anything is possible. I picked it up because it came from Five Below. I love the design. I think it's just simple and elegant. And when you go into here, again, another one that don't want to participate today. Oh, it was open. Okay. So when you go into here, there's no pockets. It's the Horizon Group. Uh, let me lay this one in the back of me. And then I'll bring it back out when I'm done. Okay, so this one is the Horizon Group, and here is the UPC. Again, $5, but was found at Five Below. So I don't know if you could find it at Target, because I found this at Five Below. I love the fact that it's green, polka dot with the white. So here you have your monthlies automatically. It says best year, right? Yeah, best year ever, and then you put the year, and then belongs to, and you put your name. So that is your first uh, paper. The paper quality is pretty good. So you have your first divider, and so the adventure begins. And then this is what your planner looks like. Goals to do. So your goals are here. Your to-dos are here. Make it happen. Don't forget. And important. And then your next page. And this quality of the paper is way better than the quality of the Target Dollar Spot. So this starts on a Sunday, ends on a Saturday. You can put your month and year or whatever you want. And I've showed this planner before, and it's a to-do section here. Your weekly is a Sunday start and a Saturday end. So that throws you off because usually it's a Monday start up here and a Sunday end, but they have it like that which is fine. And then you have a note section. I'm just getting the hiccups, sorry. At the end of the the month, you just get a note section. I think that's all that's on the back. Yeah, so you get a big note section for your notes. And then that is for February. So I'm just going to show you the dividers. Enjoy. And if you notice, the color of the tab is the color of your inserts. Enjoy the little things. So it's in the teal color, green. So then, well, it's a little off on that color. But it matches the tab. Live it now. It's kind of hard to turn. Those who see beauty will find it. And this is for May. <coughs> That's a pretty color. 
So it's the same color going without. So you have three different colors. You have the darker teal. This is June. And then the weird color in the back is the tab color. So the tab color is this color. Then you have that lighter minty greenish color. This is July. So it kind of matches. And then you have like that pinky, light pink color. It says Dream Big. And this is August. And again, I have not even touched this. September. October. Everyday Matters. November. Think Less. Do More. And December. Happiness. And that's basically the planner. And then it just has the Horizon Group. No pockets. No nothing. No other inserts. It just came just like this. And the the rings are in gold. And these are a little bit easier to close. You just got to make sure the paper is together. Other than that, it's pretty easy to close. And I still have the paper on it. So when I'm ready to use it. The next planner I have, well, the next binder, is this very pretty one. I loved this one when I first got it. I see this is beginning. Yeah. So I love this one when I first got it. I love how little it is. If you look at the size wise, this one's smaller this way. Except this paper. There you go. So it's a little bit smaller this way. Um, it's a, about a little bit smaller than this. And you can write your information. I never utilize that. Okay, so I'm going to move this one out the way. So I never utilized that. So in here, I mean, I barely have anything in here. This It's silver rings. I used two of the Target dollar spot, and I kept the stickers in here, which is Valentine's Day, so I can take those out. So I have two of the stickers from the Target dollar spot. It's a sticker up on top. And it's got the black inside. I just have, like, some stickers that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, some kit I bought, which I wish I never did. It's like a list pad. It's kind of weird because it's saying opening. For some reason, it's not opening. Oh, there it goes. So, I don't like it because of this thing attaches to this. So, it's a list pad. You have to keep tearing off that first paper. This is like a little pocket for stickers. It, it comes with, like, stickers. But, I mean, this was a waste of money to me. And then it's just, like, you just keep twirling it. This I I get from, like, online. You get free printables, and then I just put it on sticker paper. And you can see I don't use it. A bunch of this free printables online. And then you either put it on sticker paper or you just put it on cardstock. And just double side tape it and you have stickers. Again, this is on sticker paper I put it on. This pretty yellow was on sticker paper. And this one was on sticker paper. So I may use this one because I liked it. And the company was THP Pastel Valentine Sampler. But it's a whole sheet and I just cut it down. But that's all I use this for. I mean, basically just storing stuff. Nothing important. And then here is, and again, this is the Target Dollar Spot. Let me take that out of there. Target Dollar Spot. It was gorgeous. I may come back to using this in the spring, just cleaning it up a little from the pen mark. But other than that, this was a gorgeous one. I liked it, this one. Um, next one I have. This one's a very pretty one. Um, it is in the rose gold, uh, no, not rose gold, but like the coppery color, the gold foiling. So this is holding, I don't even remember these inserts, Heidi Swap. These are holding Heidi Swap inserts. Now this was getting annoying to me. This cardboard is so long, it droops. Like, I don't know if you can see that. So, I mean, once it starts being used, I'm sure it won't droop anymore. I don't even think I've used this. It looks stinking brand new. Here's the spine. It has some copper color in there. But I picked it up because of the copper color. Because I didn't have that color. 
and it only has four rings, and it's very hard to find anything with that besides Heidi Swap. So I think that's what's in here because it comes with like these sleeves. So this is a brand new. That's what the monthly looks like. This is what the weekly looks like. And then that's what the end of the month looks like. So here's February. March. Again, don't use it. April. May. June. Okay, so it looks like I'm missing July in here. I have to go looking for July and August is out of here. And then you have September. I probably used it in July and August and didn't use it any longer. And it's a very beautiful planner. Never give up. The only thing I didn't like about this one is... And here's December. That the cardboard is like terrible like you can see it in the back here as well it's like if you look it sloops like sloops it droops down like here it starts high and then comes down so if you look at it from this way do you see how it's like in I didn't like that so that's why I stopped using this one and then it's that two ring so it's very hard to find anything with like that four ring so I just stopped using it. Now, recently, I purchased this one, which is the 2019 planner. You would think I'd be using this one, right? But I don't. So here is a divider I made. It says, Life is Sweet. It's the acetate. So I had this, but I just put the stickers in the washi is what I mean by that. So it says this this book belongs to with my email. I don't put like my address and phone number any longer. So I just store again the Target dollar spot paper. Um I don't remember where I got this divider from, but I ended up making actually I know what I did. This is the Miss Mark Sparkle and Company notepad. So what I did is I took pockets that I had and I just put double-sided tape. I put the pocket on the back so it sticks out like a divider. And then I put a pocket down here so I just store my little stickers when I need a quick sticker. That's what I did there, but I'm not using it at the moment. So this one is, I don't remember where I got this. Oh, this is from this planner, and it's the exact same thing as the... Um, five below planner but the paper quality is a lot less this paper quality is super thin the five below planner which is the same layout it has the same thing the same thing and the same thing and this paper is so much thinner than you can't see this like that so much thinner than the five below. The paper quality is very crappy. So here's July, August. Show the divider. Here's August, September, October, um, November, December. I don't know where February is at. In January so then I have well I'm not even done showing you this little charm that comes like for a keychain it's just a little elephant with a bling and then just some beads it just thought it was cute I was gonna put it in my other planner I'm using right now but I didn't do that yet so here's just a little list pad that comes from the Target dollar spot again it comes like this it's not something I made so you have like your tabs little paper and then little sticky note stuff and then you have event and appointment so these are good which I'm gonna actually take out of here I meant to do this yesterday here's another one it comes with your planner sometimes sometimes it comes as the accessory pack and you get a bunch of stuff with that 
So here's another one. This I just hole punched. It's a list pad from the Target Dollar Spot. It's Monday through weekend. And then I just hole punched it. Only a few sheets. Well, it's more than a few. And then put it in here. So this is my list section. So I have like a little brain dump stuff. Um, no time like now, which is my inspiration. So the tabs I want to start with. Just some information about me. Um, love this life, which is my home section. And these here are from... Oh, I forgot the name. Carpe Diem, I think. It's one of them companies. But Hobby Lobby. And everybody is raving about them. They're like for your dividers. So this is the home section. It's just Target Dollar Spot notes. The next one is the goals, goals, goals. So I put plan on it. Target Dollar Spot notes. And then to buy. And then I just have like all my wish list stuff in here. With some Target Dollar Spot notes. And in the back, it's just, you know, your regular cardboard. What they started doing, too, was, for a while, is putting the elastic. So that's been going on for a while. So this one here was $5. And you get a cover page. Besides the planner. Besides the binder. A cover page, 12 monthly dividers, 12 to-do lists, 24 monthly pages, 120 weekly pages, and 12 note pages. All in this one planner. But of course, I took it apart. And I love the fact that it was the floral, the white, so it's like spring colors. So I may use this later in spring, going towards like summer type. Because it does say 2019 planner, but I haven't been using it. Because I know if I throw it in my purse, this will get dirty. And I kept this just for like videos and stuff. And then, the last one for this video, I'm just trying to move that planner, is this guy. This is the one I'm using now. Well, I just set it up yesterday. This has, again, I don't know if you can see it, the elastic, which is messed up here, because I don't even put them on right when I'm in a hurry to put it. So it has the elastic here, it says plan on it, I love this one. It has the pink, and then this binder itself was only $3. It did come with inserts, and you'll see that color that I had. That's what the inserts were. So when you open this up, you're going to get that little droopy. On this side, I just have an envelope, a pocket little thing, and I just double-sided tape it. And put that there. So it's like for little stickers. It has happy plants. And love this. Here is a pocket that I cut down. And then this could be like a dashboard in the back. But this one I think is only one pocket. Yeah. So this one has one pocket. I don't like use it. I just have my Target. No not Target. My Dollar Tree stickers. I have all four books. Inside here. With some extra stickers. Obviously. Another one of those pockets, but this one has a pocket here, a pocket here. It was made like this, a pocket here, again, a pocket here, and I think a pocket here. Or no, so it's just one pocket here. These are hard and confusing. And then it has a tab, a pocket here, and a pocket here. This side doesn't have the pocket that slides. So I just keep stickers in there. This I got from Dollar Tree. Couldn't figure out what planner this would fit. But it's supposed to go like this. Where your tab is on top. I like my tab on the bottom. So I just stick this in here. Um, put it like that. So see. You can see the tab on the bottom. So because when you flip your pages. You don't flip from top over. You flip from bottom. So that is what that is. Then I have a note section. But I'm not using. And then it has like in case of emergencies. Let me fix this paper real quick. Every time I do that. I don't know why. And then it just has notes. 
So I have just the notes in the front. Then I have dividers that's got nothing in there yet, and these are the Avery ones. I love getting the Avery ones for these kind of planners because I love the dividers. This is a Carpe Diem Hello Today. Fits perfectly in here. And then these are, again, the Avery dividers. I have not filled it out yet. Because like I said, I just set it up yesterday to how I want it. And then it's so overfilled, I might have to like lose some pages here. So just a note came from Dollar Tree. It was a list pad already hole punched. Not a list pad, no pages that were hole punched. Looks just like that. And there was a bunch of stuff that came with that. Like, not came with it, but it was like a line of just a note. Here's another one of those. I just leave this one on top. And then some more of that just a note, which I may just take out. You know what? Let me take it out while I'm here. There's too much note pages in here. Um, I'll take it from this divider. Okay, put this one back. Okay, give me one second. Let me put this one back. When I chunk up my planners, I really chunk them up, and that's my fault for, you know, in, at opening and stuff. This is from the cutting mat that you get from Dollar Tree. You get two in a pack. I cut it down, you know, to the sides. So it just holds the planner really nice. And then here is the rest of those dividers. So here's February. Remember I said I didn't know where February, March and stuff was? March. April. It looks just like that. May. Be the best version of you. In June. So I have February to June in here. Because of course January is almost over. So that's where the rest of those were. I couldn't think where these were. But they're in here. These came as a... They didn't come like this I don't think. No, these came in the little notepad section I had, and I cut down. That's what I did to this. I cut these down. And then Target Dollar Spot. I hope this ain't too long for you. For some reason, this page is not the same size as this page. And then here's another one from the Dollar Tree. You get, I think, four in a pack. This is the Recollections. It fits perfectly in here. This is the Avery paper. This I made. I had a jar that was like cardstock. And then I just washi taped it into these colors. And I put the sticker love. And then it looks like that in the back. Again, Target, I mean Dollar Tree. It came in the whole pack. Some more no pages. Back here, I like these pockets. It's the Staples Gusseted Binder Pocket. So it's a snap closure. And then you can just fit a bunch of stuff in there, like your bills or whatever you have in there. And it holds a sheet capacity of 200. 200 sheets will fit in here. This is just like a mouse pad, but it's actually a note. So this came from the Target Dollar Spot. This comes off, so you can just, like, I don't know if you can hear that. Oh, that was fresh paper. So this just, see, it's perforated. So that's that. And then again, target Darla spot. And this is your to-dos. And it's just held on by a binder clip. And let me close this up so I can show you. It has its pink pen loop and pink elastic. That is the binder clip, and look at how gorgeous this is. Who would not want to use that? So this is my binder collection, part one. Um, as soon as I find part two of the binders, I will leave, you know, I'll do a video on that as well. But thank you for watching this collection. And please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will talk to you in another video. Bye-bye. Thank you.